Hey, Todd, are you there? Sorry to bother you. I just wanted to ask, have you already seen the group chat on iMessage? Oh, hey, Jane. Yeah, I think so. Are you talking about Carolyn mentioning she wants to bring her new fiancé over this Sunday? Looks like she was finally proposed to, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. But she's only 25 years old. Don't you think it's a little strange for her to be engaged? Ah, oh, well, I guess in today's day and age, 25 is a bit young to be getting married. It's been 20 years already since we got together and began raising her together. <laughs> Time really flies. It's only natural to worry about her like this. Who knows, maybe this guy will make a good husband and father material. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I guess if this guy's ready to settle down and even become a father to her children, then I guess it's okay, right? What do you mean? Yeah, I think so. Carolyn has a good head on her shoulders. She knows what she's doing. Well, she was raised for 20 years by a man who isn't her real father. Do you think that changes the situation at all? Well, I wouldn't say that, but I mean me giving her away to another man at her wedding would be a good thing. I guess I have to choose my words differently. You clearly don't seem to understand what I'm getting at. What do you mean, how so? Just be honest with me, Jane, and say what you want to say. I'm just clearly trying to say the time has come, Todd, for us in a relationship. Because the truth is, her real father is supposed to be coming back. What? Are you kidding me? He's coming out of the woodwork after all of these years? Well, yeah, he's been going through a rough time. We got divorced at the same time he got fired from his company. He's been unemployed for a while, and no matter how many times I go over it in my head, I can't help but think the reason for his divorce is because he didn't help me raise Carolyn. He wanted nothing to do with it. But that was 20 years ago already. A lot has changed since then. But about six months ago, I saw him. He went on and on, claiming he's a boss managing some prestigious company. So <laughs> I thought it would be okay to tell Carolyn about this. And I thought she had a right to know, considering, you know, you and her aren't related by blood. She would want to hear about her real father. Hold on a second, Jane. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, <laughs> I guess to be blunt... Now that he has a great job, I think it's about time me and him get back together. So at Carolyn's wedding, I will be taking him. So that means we will need to divorce. That's what I've been trying to say. I would have liked to have said it a bit nicer, but oh well. I would also like to get the divorce done and finalized by this Saturday, too. I have introduced you as her father before, but that will need to change now that her real father is back in the picture. Going forward, I want everyone to see us as a family. Me, my ex-husband, Carolyn, and her future husband. That's the way it should be. Think about it. If not, everyone will be wondering who her real father is. There is a 100% chance of that happening and causing headaches for me. You shouldn't be the one to make that decision for her. That should be up to Carolyn. She might not want anything to do with her real father. She is my daughter. I don't need to ask her anything before making decisions. I am her mother. Fine, I see you're dead set on this and there's no changing your mind. So I'll give you what you want. We can get divorced, Jane. Are you sure you thought this through? You're sure that this is what's best for Carolyn? Of course I am. What would be better than her real father being back in her life? Gosh, you really are a whiner right to the end, aren't you? It's gotten so annoying. This is exactly why I knew divorcing you was the right thing to do. Stop worrying about Carolyn. After the divorce, you won't be seeing her ever again. Why don't you rethink all of this after you talk to Carolyn? She has a right to know what you're doing, Jane. You sure are persistent. Yet another thing I have grown to dislike about you. Enough, Jane. I have a lot of work to get back to, so I'm ending this conversation here. Carolyn, are you there? Did you see the group chat on iMessage yet? Oh, hey, Dad. It's so good to hear from you. 
I see Matthew finally propose to you. You've been waiting a long time for this. I am so happy for you. Thank you. He finally paid off all his student loans, so it just felt like the timing was right. Wow, is that right? Amazing. Good job, Matthew. Congratulations, Carolyn. I couldn't be more proud of you. I'm so happy. Oh, thank you, Dad. That means the world to me. But there is one thing that's still weighing on my mind. What is it? You know you can talk to me about anything. Well, it's about my real father. Oh, uh, you, uh, you want to talk about that? To be honest, I already spoke to your mom on my lunch break earlier today. She told me your father is coming back and because of that she wants to divorce me. Yeah, that's what she told me too. I want to think she was brave to tell me about all this herself, but I'm not too sure what to believe. She said that Dad has a high-paying job and a high position in his company, so I don't think she'll try to bleed you dry from the divorce. Well, let's hope not. It's not like I ever cheated on your mother or anything like that either. Did she say anything else? Just a couple of things she hated about me. Oh, and how she wanted the divorce finalized by this weekend. What in the world? Why so sudden? Isn't that way too quick for a divorce to happen? She wants to attend your wedding with him, so she wants the divorce finalized so that she can introduce the three of you as a family. She wants to tell everyone that he is the father of the bride. She said that she wants to avoid any type of headaches and confusion. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, give me a break. That is absolutely absurd. I refuse to go along with that. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. He may be my birth father, but he has done nothing for me to look at him as my true father. I know, Carolyn. Believe me. I completely understand how you feel. But your mother doesn't think so. She believes this is what you want too. She thinks you're going to be happy with the two of them back together. Are you serious? How could she possibly think that? I already explained my whole family situation to Matthew. I haven't said anything to Mom yet. I know. I remember talking to him about it too when I met him. That's right. Mom still doesn't know that you met him before. I planned on telling her that at the wedding. But after all this drama, I'd be content with things ending right after the pictures are taken. I understand. That makes sense to me. I support you with whatever you decide to do. Thank you, Dad. I know you're always there for me. Besides, it will really just be our family at the wedding. Matthew doesn't have any relatives. But it's fine. The smaller the better. I don't do too well with big crowds anyway. Oh, that's right. I remember you saying that a lot lately. Your mother never seemed to listen, though. That's right. So we're just going to keep things small and simple. After the ceremony, we'll just take pictures, and that will be the end of it. Don't worry. No matter what happens, I absolutely need a picture with you, Dad. It would mean the world to me. Of course, sweetie. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I can't wait for your big day. Thank you. I am so excited, too. The only problem is Mom, of course. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm not sure what he's planning, to be honest. I don't think she's aware that we know she's been cheating. If word got out about that, then I think she'd be in trouble, especially when it comes to the divorce. What do you plan on doing, Dad? I'm not so sure. She just sent me the divorce papers a little while ago. My goodness, already? She wasted no time, it seems. I think I'll sleep on it and decide what my next move is tomorrow. I understand. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. I'm always here for you. I know you are. Thank you so much. Good night, Carolyn. Good night, Dad. Jane, it's Todd. I submitted the divorce papers on my way to work this morning. Just thought I'd let you know. Wow, I'm impressed. You followed my directions much better than I expected. You didn't give me any back talk or whining this time. Well, what can I say? It's a rule of mine to not get wrapped up in stressful situations. I end them as fast as I can. Whatever you say. Now that we are divorced, you can do whatever you like. I don't care at all. 
Right, now that that's settled, hurry up and get you and your things out of my house. W wait what? <laughs> what did you just say to me, Todd? <laughs> Are you surprised? After all, the house is in my name, right? Oh, oh, right. I guess I didn't really think about that. Are you kidding me? You're going through the hassle of dumping me for your ex-husband, and it didn't cross your mind that you'd need to find a new place to live? Oh, give me a break. Surely you didn't think that you'd continue living here after wanting to divorce me? Of course not. Don't be silly, Todd. I thought about submitting the papers tomorrow, so my mind has been focused on that. I was just a little taken aback by your comment about me leaving. That's all. I didn't expect it. But don't worry, of course, I made preparations to leave. Whatever you say, Jane. You have until tomorrow morning to get your things and get out. What? You expect me to pack all of my things and find somewhere else to live by tomorrow? You can have the place to yourself tonight so you can pack. I'll sleep at a friend's place instead. I'll be home by 9 tomorrow morning. So you'll have all night to pack up everything and get out, Jane. Wow, Dodd. So you're saying I have one night to pack everything. Come on, that's impossible. You brought this upon yourself. You're the one who wanted the divorce, so you'll have to deal with it. The reason this is even happening is because of your selfishness. So the least that you can do is compromise with me on this. Pack up and be gone by tomorrow morning. Fine. Gosh, I heard you the first time, Todd. I understand. I'll get all my stuff out by morning. Okay, Todd, I finished packing and I'm all set to be moving out now. Is that so? Understood. I have a question I need to ask you, though. Okay, sure. What's the problem now, Jane? I have been trying to get hold of Carolyn all night last night, but she didn't answer any of my phone calls or texts or anything. Do you happen to know where she is? Nope, I don't have a clue. I didn't speak to her at all last night either. Oh, I see. Okay, just thought I'd ask. It's not like her to not answer me when I try calling her, especially all night. Right, so is that all you wanted to ask? Is there anything else? Oh, no, that's all. I just thought I would ask to see if you knew anything about where she was or what she's doing. Okay, I left you my lawyer's card. If you want to contact me again, be sure to go through him first. Yeah, okay, I understand, Todd. I won't contact you again. Todd! Answer the damn phone right now! Was this you? Did you do this? Answer me! Didn't I tell you to not reach out to me again? I told you an hour ago to go through my lawyer if you have anything more to say to me. Oh, stop it! This is an emergency! Answer me right now, Todd! What did you do? Did you talk to my ex? What kind of ideas did you put into his head? I took all my stuff over to his place after I finished packing from your house, and he's making me pay now just to open the gate to let me inside! Oh, I see. So that's what it's come to then. Well, I have to say, good for him. What are you talking about? Why would he do such a thing? What is going on here? He came back from overseas about a year ago. At that time, he didn't know you got remarried. I guess you kept it from him then, is that so? None of that is your business, Todd! You divorced him about 20 years ago. The poor guy has been single and alone ever since. You took his daughter away from him just because he fell on hard times and was basically poor. But now that he's finally back on his feet and successful in his business, you found him attractive all over again, right? What are you telling me, Todd? Are you trying to say you met with my ex? Well, we spoke a bit through my lawyer. I never actually met him directly in person. But he had a right to know who you truly are. The real reason you left him to begin with, and the real reason you're running back to his arms apologizing for divorcing him in the first place. 
How dare you? How could you do such a thing? You had no right to talk to him. That is none of your business. You're so heartbroken over the divorce that you would go behind my back and try to sabotage my relationship with him? I can't believe you would be that spiteful and immature over this whole situation. You want to talk to me about spiteful and immature? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Jane. You have got to be kidding me. I went to Carolyn's apartment and she wasn't there. I tried to contact her over and over, but she doesn't want to see me. She went over to her boyfriend's place and is staying there to avoid me. Even Carolyn is turning against me now? My own daughter? Why? Answer me, Todd! Why is all of this happening? Why would my own daughter shut me out? Jane, I've told you a couple of times already today that if you want to talk to me, you'll have to reach out to my lawyer, didn't I? As for Carolyn, I guess I can speak for her in this situation. What are you saying, Todd? Out with it already! Did you poison my daughter's mind just to turn her against me? Enough of the innocent act. You aren't fooling anyone. Carolyn knew you were cheating on me, Jane. What? What do you mean? There's no way. I, I mean, I, I never cheated on you or anyone else for that matter in my entire life. When will the lie stop? There is no use denying it anymore. She witnessed it with her own eyes. She saw you with a man who looked exactly like her birth father. She's a smart girl. It didn't take long for her to put two and two together and figure out what you were doing. Oh my goodness. She really saw us. Are you lying to me, Todd? Do you know how many times she saw you at your ex-husband's house, too? You went there more times than I cared to even know while we were together. Of course she knew you were betraying me in our relationship by cheating on me with him. But she shouldn't be too upset with me, come on! After all, that's her real father! He may be her biological father, but do you think that's all it takes to be a real father to a child? Do you think that is more important compared to someone who actually raised her? Sorry, but that's not the case. Your crazy train of thought doesn't apply here. You need to look at things from Carolyn's point of view for once. Maybe you can finally understand how she feels. The one she calls dad isn't your ex. It's me. I'm the one who raised her. I'm the father she knew growing up her whole life, not him. But I am still her mother. That has never changed. I've always been there for her. You cheated on your husband, the man she sees as her father. Spin it however you want, Jane, but do you think this is normal behavior between a married couple? Well, no, of course not. It's just... I couldn't help myself. I mean, come on. He told me he was managing an entire company. Of course that would pique my interest. It would interest anyone. Sure, it's true my job and salary doesn't compare to his at the moment. But there is more to life and relationships than money and status. Your plan was just to run right back into life together with him after divorcing me, right? What? Well, I mean, I don't know exactly what was going to happen. I was going to figure it all out after the divorce. You really just do things so backwards sometimes, Jane. Sure, we argue like a normal couple did, but except for right now. Things have usually been pretty good between the two of us. We were normally quite happy together. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, with the way things are now, me going back to my ex may not be entirely what I want to do anymore. No, don't backpedal now, Jane. You brought this all upon yourself. Well, the least you can do is give me a little money. When couples divorce, the husband usually needs to pay the wife some kind of a fee, right? Even a little bit would do. That's enough. You really are hopeless. What? What are you saying, Todd? I said it before, but I guess I need to say it again. Do not contact me. If you need to get a hold of me, go through my lawyer first. I am done with this entire situation. No, wait. I still want to talk, Todd. I, I still have questions and more things I need to say. Go through my lawyer like I keep telling you. I am done here. I don't have anything more to say to you. 
Come on, have a heart, Todd. Todd, answer me! After that, my wife, uh, well, my ex-wife, went back to live with her parents for a little while. My lawyer went to pay her a visit there and advised her she needs to pay divorce fees and alimony. Unfortunately, my ex-wife was actually relying on her parents' money to help with those payments. Her parents are up there in age now and aren't working anymore, so them taking on the burden of those payments proved to be quite difficult. In the end, she had no choice but to get a job as a live-in maid. I guess it was a good thing her father had a connection there to someone who needed the help. It's been about six months since the last time I spoke to her. At Carolyn's wedding, she eagerly introduced herself to everyone as mother of the bride. The wedding was about a week ago and we didn't speak one single word to each other. Thankfully, the wedding went off without any drama. It really was a beautiful ceremony. Carolyn looked beautiful as always. Jane now is doing whatever she can to make ends meet and keep up with the alimony payments. Unfortunately, this is proving difficult as word spread around town about the type of person she is. Because of that and her history with being unfaithful, there aren't too many people who are willing to take a chance on her, romantically or financially. But I do wish her the best. Hopefully she can get back on her feet one day. As for me, I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds with my daughter and her new husband. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. Bye!